Hi, it's Big Watch Fan again with my latest video review for the U-Boat Classico 45AB4. Now some of you complain about the light in the last video, which is why I'm facing the window today so there's more light. But anyway, you're not here for my face, so let's go to the see the watch. Now this is the U-boat. It's a beautifully designed watch. Initially I got it because I loved the clean design of this watch. The very big face, the very simple lines. Very Italian design I thought. Um, this is the 45, so it's a 45 millimeter watch. When it first came out of the box, I thought it was a little small, so I compared it to my Nixon. And this is what it looks like next to a 51 millimeter watch. So as you can see, it's a big size difference. But I discovered that on the wrist, it's not that much different. Um, the 45 is just fine for my 7 inch wrist. Now for those of you that care, this watch came in this kind of box. It's in a leather box with a suede interior. Very fine kind of thing. Um, came with an instruction manual. Came with a warranty card which tells me it's an ETA 2824 movement. Warranty for two years. Came with this U boat catalog, which is full of pretty pictures that makes you want to buy more U boat watches. And a bunch of different little tags. One with the with the price tag, $2,400. Yeah, not quite. Um, and all the plastic film and a leather little leather hang tag. So anyway, it's kind of the box it comes in. But on to the watch. The watch itself comes on a rubber band which I was a little nervous about because I've had Seikos with rubber bands, rubber straps, and I don't know, the rubber gets all gunky underneath and gets kind of yucky and then you gotta clean them out, but this rubber is really soft. It feels more like, I don't know, has this foam kind of feeling. It feels really nice. Um, so I guess that's the difference uh, in the price difference. Um, okay, let's see how much this watch weighs. the scale. Put the watch on top. So this is a reasonable 5.2 ounces. Much lighter than the Nixon which was over 9 ounces. Uh, one of the things I really liked about this watch was the large crown. Uh, unscrews like this to reveal the stem which sets the date at the first position and the time at the second position. Um, one of the things that I had to learn was, uh, since I haven't had a watch in a long time, I had to learn that uh, if you set the date initially, you have to make sure that you set it in the AM or PM by adjusting the time. Otherwise, the date won't set correctly. U-boat. Uh, this U-boat has a number on the side. I don't think you can see it. It says number... N period 0142. 
I don't know what that number means. It's not the serial number which is on my uh, warranty card. Oh, and the other fantastic thing about this watch is the see-through case in the back. Can I zoom in on that? You can see the movement in the back um, through the crystal. There are six look like tiny screws holding the case back um, and this sapphire crystal which uh, shows the movement and also a sapphire crystal in front which um, protects the dial. Now the band, I know I'm gonna have to buy another band eventually because I know this band will get yucky but um, the thing that I didn't like about this watch was the buckle, the deployment clasp it's called. It was very hard for me to figure out, A, because there's no instructions in the manual about how to put on this watch. So let me show you how it goes on. You set this part, this part comes out, and you set it into the correct hole that your wrist is size for. Then you push this side in, the side with the strap holders. Huh? Then you push this side in, and then you secure it, the band with the little strap holders. The only real adjustment I had to make was on the clasp didn't hold the band securely enough I had to bend the little metal piece back and I'm sure eventually that'll break but anyway so that's how you put on the clasp let me show you how it looks on the wrist So, with my Girly Man 7 inch wrists, this is how the watch looks. Doesn't look too bad, huh? 45 millimeters. I don't know if you can see the sign strap on the metal piece. This is a PVD coated uh, watch. And that's the process by which they get the, I guess, the coating, the black coating, onto the stainless steel. One of the reasons I like the U-boat is because even the crown protectors, this big thing on the left, um, is coated the same way, instead of just naked stainless steels, like some of the other U-boats, uh, the lower-end models, which are coming out, I understand, are like that. Um, I've been wearing it for a couple days now maybe three maybe three or four days actually and it keeps really accurate time um, it's easy to read one of the best things about it uh, I like the very small date indicator right in the three o'clock position uh, I think that's a nice design also like the carbon fiber dial uh, it looks really cool. I guess uh, a lot of watchmakers do that now, but uh, it looks very cool. This watch met all my expectations. I think I'd like to get another one someday, whenever I have the money. Um, I would give this watch my big watch fan sugge suggested rating of, say, 9 out of 10. It loses a point for not having how to put on the band in the instruction manual. But other than that, it's a beautiful watch. If you can find one, I would recommend it. And uh, I guess that's it for now. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again later.